My name is Ming. I'm an engineer. My name is uh, Tiffany and I'm a naturopath. We have been staying in this house for about three months. This is a five-room resale HDB. Spent about 170k on the renovation. For Ming, he likes a like Scandinavian, very uh, woody kind of feel. And for myself, I like uh, Japanese influence. So I think that was kind of like the starting point of the look and feel of our place. You have no idea how bad this place was. Every wall in the rooms have different colours. <laughs> <laughs> cannot keep anything up basically. <laughs> it really was bad. So the first thing you see when you enter our house, right, is this like long corridor which is inspired by this architect known as uh, Tadao Ando. By the Chichu Museum where Tadao Ando had a lot of these kind of like similar layout. So we we're trying to recreate that feeling refocus and just a moment of pause before you kind of enter into each of the rooms again where you come into the light again and into the expense of space. People nowadays tend to hack everything and open up the spaces. Whereas for us, we in fact rebuilt a lot of walls to kind of compartmentalize each um, room and space. Then the dining table also, we kind of position it such that we really look out over the sea view because we hack away one wall, right? We recreated uh, what we call the cube, which is a space where the kids can play, but in case, you know, for the occasional guests, there's a little room for them to stay over as well. So uh, we actually swapped the master bedroom with the kids because we wanted the sea view. We imagine that on those days that we have guests over, it'll be quite noisy for them. Keeping them in the other side of the house would make it quiet for them as they grow up, right? And then maybe they need to study or what whilst mommy and daddy party or what. Yeah, the yeah, older one, the moment she saw, she was like, you stole my sea view. I'm like, hey, as views go, it's not too bad, you know, compared to, you know, some other houses yeah. that overlooks, I don't know, your neighbour, right? Because if you notice right now, their room is all pink because, you know, they're kind of like in this primary school phase but we know very soon they we will become you know rebellious teenagers who probably hate it so we wanted to make sure whatever we got them that we can just chuck and they can you know get their own stuff in a few years time still have a, a nice uh, city view unblocked yeah. city view yeah. yeah and actually the sunset view is very nice from uh, their room yeah. if you can see the bathroom actually only has uh, one type of tile so we want it simple and a lot of the uh, faucets are hidden to keep it neat. The kitchen, if you can see, we don't have top cabinets, so we keep it like a um, very Japanese style. Yeah, and we have uh, lots of room, <laughs> so uh, it's quite minimal. So for us, we want to compartmentalize each room, so we did it this way. For me, I'm still in the honeymoon phase. I'm still in love with everything. That's why I cannot even choose my favourite. I kind of love everything. Yeah, I like to stand by the window near the table. Yeah, and look, just look out far beyond to the sea. Yeah. And we are looking forward to uh, New Year's Eve because we were told that um, as a tradition, all the ships at the touch of uh, midnight, they will all sound their horns. So we are waiting to yes, experience that. It's really like a picture that constantly changes. Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackhomes.com.